Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are going to be building something in Sprocket, and hopefully this thing will be a-okay. Now, from the title and probably the thumbnail, you guys will be able to guess it. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and just start building. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is, and hopefully it will actually work out. So, uh, we're not going to build it, like, precisely, but we are going to build it quite nicely. So, let's go. Let's just start by going to mobility, going to tracks, and making them as wide as we possibly can. There we go. That's kind of interesting. We're then going to make them super, super long in length. Super long in length. And we're going to make them as thick as possible. Yes. I mean, that seems weird, but there you go. That is what we're going to go with. Very nice. We're then going to go straight back to the base. We're going to make the length of this thing 10 meters long. And we are going to make it super wide as well. There we go. We're going to go with as wide as possible, which I think that is. Excellent. We're now going to go into freeform. And I think we might be able to make it even longer. But who knows? Uh, I could be wrong. Let's see. No, we can make it even longer. Okay, that's awesome. I don't know whether we can make the tracks just as long as that, though. Uh, and that is what is going to limit us. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we can't build it as big as we need to. So we're going to just fit it into this shape. And hopefully that'll be A-OK. -okay. So, select all. There we go. Excellent. Bring it back forwards. And that'll be A-OK. -okay. Nice. All right, we're actually going to take it upwards quite far as well. Probably up to around there. That is awesome. And then we're going to grab the entire back again. And we're going to push it all forwards again. So yeah, bring this forwards to there-ish. Very good. Go to uh, mobility again. Go to the tracks. Excellent. And send this all the way up to there. Send the return rollers, if I can, all the way up to there as well. And this probably all the way up to there as well. I mean, that's pretty crazy, but I think it'll work out that way. So there we go. Excellent. That is all probably fine. I know it looks a bit weird for now, but uh, I, I guarantee that's probably A-OK. -okay. I'd love. We're going to make that huge. There we go. And we'll have it quite high. There we go. That makes it look a lot better, actually. So we're going to make this wider as well, or bigger. And there we go. We're going to have it a little bit like that. Okay, awesome. So far, so good. All right, road wheels, they're all going to be massive as well. So there we go. We're going to go with, I guess I want quite a few of them. So we're going to go with something like that. And I think that'll be pretty cool, to be honest. Yeah. All right, we need to get rid of the fender. Fender is completely useless in this situation. So get rid of it. There we go. Awesome. Right, so far, so good, guys. This is looking interesting. Right, now what I want to do is I want to bring everything out to be level uh, with the actual idler, I guess? No, the sprocket. With the sprocket, so yeah, we need to make all of this really wide. So the idler wheels are gonna be super wide. Uh, da -da -da -da. Actually, no, the idler wheel can stay as it is for now. The road wheels are gonna be super wide, and we still can't bring them out to the right place. So make them skinnier. There we go. We'll have them just inside the tracks. Uh, go outwards a little bit more, and then we should be good to go from there. So there you go, out to there. Excellent. I mean, that looks weird, but we can go with it. And then we need to do exactly the same thing on the idler. And hopefully that'll be pretty cool too. So increase this. There you go. And then make it wider. Yes. And there we go. We'll go with that. Kind of interesting. Uh, there is going to be a big side skirt on this. So that's going to be fine. Uh, but that is actually real cool. We're going to lower this down as well. Uh, we are going to lower this down as well. And we're probably going to lower this down as well. There we go. Excellent. So now we need everything to actually fit in here. And this is where things get a bit weird. We're going to extend this all the way down to there. Okay, and we're going to bring it backwards. Yeah. I don't really know how this would work on the real tank, but we are going to do it this way. All right, cool. Go to points. We're going to grab this one, this one, and then the other two on the back that are in the same place. There we go. And we're going to send those down quite far as well, uh, like so. And then we're going to bring this forwards. Yes. All right, then we're going to go to faces. We're going to grab all of these, and we're going to send those backwards. Uh, I believe that's about right. Yeah, that works. Uh, and that looks pretty cool to me, to be honest. Yes. All right, we're then going to go to this bit. We're going to extend this upwards just a touch, like so. And to be honest, that's going to be pretty cool. Yeah. All right, we're going to keep it somewhat like this. Don't know what the rear end looks like at all. So we're going to leave it somewhat normal. There we go. Bring that forwards. Uh, I think we can actually bring most of it backwards a little bit, though. So we will bring it backwards a tiny touch. There we go. Uh, and we'll build it on from there. All right, cool. This is good. This is good. All right, cool. So extend this sideways. We're going to bring it to about the edge of the wheels, uh, or the tracks, I should say. We're then going to extend it again. We're going to grab it on the bottom, and we're going to send this down. This is going to be our side skirt. There we go. Okay, so far, so good. 
Nice. All right, cool. Grab this one and this one. Send it forwards. There we go. Awesome. Uh, I want to say that we should actually cover this up, which would be interesting. Uh, we should actually cover up the one at the front as well. But again, I don't really know how we're going to do that. So we will try. We'll extend this forwards like so. Bring it all the way to the end. There we go. Uh, make the front end come down like so. Make the back end go upwards like so. And we'll build it onto there. Hopefully this will be A-OK. -okay. So we're going to extend this one. All right, which is interesting. We're then going to extend this sideways. Bring it across here. Okay, we're going to extend it once more. Then go to the underside of that piece and extend this down. And bring it down into there like so. And that's kind of how I want to do it, I think. All right, go to this. We'll grab this piece and this piece. Bring it upwards and backwards a touch. There we go. Excellent. No, that totally works. Yeah. Because I want to box them in. Uh, and this is the easiest or best way of boxing them in, I believe. So there you go. Excellent. Grab this piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece. And we just want to merge it with the rest. So send this backwards to there. And there we go. I think that works. Honestly, I think that does actually work. That's brilliant. That is actually brilliant. Good. Uh, so we've boxed in the sides. We now need to box in the front. This is where things get a little bit more interesting. Extend this forwards. Okay, good. We're going to extend this sideways. And bring it to here. And then I think we can extend this forwards as well. And I, I guess we need to somewhat merge all these into the right places. So bring this upwards like so. Uh, maybe the back bit as well. Upwards. Okay, excellent. And then we need to merge this together somehow. I don't know how that's going to work. But maybe if we extend this. There we go. Uh, we bring it sideways. And maybe if we just extend it sideways. Okay, that works. And then extend this one sideways as well. And there we go. I think that's boxed in enough. Uh, for me. So I think we'll leave it somewhat like that. Do this one as well. Do this one as well. And yeah. Bit weird but I think it works. Uh, the other thing we're going to do is go to here. We're going to grab this one and this one and send it up to there. I know that looks a bit weird but we're going to roll with it. I think that's fine. Yeah. Okay cool. This works. This is this is good enough for me anyway. So the sides are pretty much flat. Uh, the edge is pretty much flat as well. Don't know what the rear looks like. Not going to lie. Uh, what we will do is go to faces, extend this a little bit, bring this like straight backwards, like so. There we go. Bring this piece upwards, uh, like that. There we go. And bring this bit so that it's flat with that bit, if that makes any sense at all. It won't be flat, though. Hmm. Hmm. We need to build it out the back. It actually needs to go further backwards than, than I thought. Okay, excellent. So this will work. We then grab both of these. We bring it upwards to there. We're going to box it in. So this bit just goes backwards to there. Okay, I think. Is that okay? I don't know. Uh, let's bring this up to there. Excellent. And then we want to extend it one more time and we'll send it across. So extend it. Grab this piece. Extend it this way. Bring it across here. There we go. Looks a bit weird, but that's okay. Extend it again. Grab the bit on the back. This bit. And extend it forwards. Uh, and then we should be good to go. So bring this down a little bit. And bring it forwards into the vehicle. There we go. All right, very weird. <laughs> very, very weird indeed. But then we can extend all of these guys, bring those to fit on top of it. There we go. And that'll be fine, I think. I think that's all A-OK -okay anyway. So we'll send this back forwards. All right. We then need to somehow merge all of these together. So grab every single one of these. In Even that one, that one, that one, that one. And these ones as well. There we go, on the sides. Bring those upwards to there. And we'll have it somewhat fit together. I think that's fine. I think that is a okay. Okay. A uh, bit weird. Uh, let's just grab that one and that one. Bring this up. There we go. Excellent. And then we'll just extend this side piece once. There we go. And we'll leave it somewhat like that. I think that's fine. There we go. Bring that up to there. Brilliant. I think it's done it on the other side, which indeed it has. And we'll leave it like that. Okay. Uh, very boxy, guys. Very, very boxy. But honestly, it's going to do the job, I think. Bring this bit forwards. Yeah, no, that is the right piece. All right, bring that bit forwards. Because obviously, I don't want that bit to be showing quite as much as it is. So there we go. We'll go with that. Go to the other side. Make sure it's done on the other side, which I believe it is. Yeah, okay. This works. This totally works. Right, we're leaving it like this. So we're trying to build a mini rat. Ratter? I don't know how you say it. Ratter? I think it's ratter, but I'm not entirely sure. So this is the main base of it that we've already built, uh, which seems good. Uh, honestly, I think this is fine. Um, what we're going to do from here is we're going to go to faces. 
We're going to extend the middle two bits upwards. Okay, so this bit and this bit, the middle three pieces. We're going to bring this up. There we go. Uh, we're going to bring the rear of it forwards using this bit and this bit. There we go. Send it forwards. And this is how we're going to build it. Actually, no, it's not. It's not how we're going to build it. So, yeah. All right. What we want to do is we want to split this before we raise it. So, go to edges. There we go. Go to, oh, this piece. Split. There we go. Excellent. So, now all we need to do is lift this bit, this bit, and this bit. There we go. Extend. And that is what we want. Okay, excellent. No, this is fine. There you go. So, we are building the land ship, guys. That is exactly what we're building. All right, here we go. Bring this out. Pretty much to the edge. There we go. And I want it angled because I think it is. So there you go. Grab these pieces. Nope, that's not quite right. This bit. I think it's that bit. There we go. Angle this like so. Excellent. And then we're going to do the back piece as well. Granted, I'm not really looking at a proper picture of this. So I'm not entirely sure what it looks like fully. But we're going to build it as we kind of want to. So this should look pretty good in the end. There we go. We'll do that. Bring it backwards a little bit further. And that's where the main gun is going to go. Which seems pretty crazy, to be honest. But yeah, we're going to grab this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece, and that piece. And we're going to send them all in a little bit. There we go. Yeah, and a little bit back. There we go. Yes. Guys, I think this is fine. Nice. All right, send this bit back forwards. Doesn't matter if it's a bit of a weird angle. That's fine. There we go. All right. Yeah, no, this is sick. This totally works. So what I'm going to do from here is we're going to save this as Rat. There we go. Save it. And we're going to load up um, one of my other vehicles. It's the MBT. That's what I want to, that's what I want to bring up anyway. Uh, MBT. What an MBT. So the cannon on this, the turret on this, is what I kind of want. So if we can save it as turret. MBT. There we go. And we save it as such. There we go. We should be able to go to the rat and uh, build it on there properly. So here we go. I don't know if this is even going to fit. I don't know if this is going to fit. So we grab this. We put it on there. We then load up a MBT. Oh, look how tiny that is. Damn. This turret is going to be ginormous, actually, isn't it? This turret's actually going to be huge. Okay, right. That's fine. So delete this one because the turret MBT is too small. And we're going to build an entirely new turret. Wow. Wow. We wow, wow. Okay, put that in the middle. Um, we're just going to extend it as we are. So we're going to do this. We're also going to do this. There we go. We're going to make the main shape first. And then we're going to build it from that. So extend the side pieces out. Bring them to the edge pretty much. Extend it once again. Bring it out further. And then we're going to go to points. We're going to grab this one. And we're going to grab this one. There we go. And we're going to extend this backwards like so. There we go. We're then going to grab this one. And also this one. And I think we're going to send this in, but only a tiny bit. There we go, like that. Excellent. And that is the main shape of the turret, I believe. Okay, excellent. So now we're going to go to this. We're going to extend these pieces upwards. Uh, actually, all of it. Might as well do all of it at the same time. Extend it. If I can bring it in as one, that would be brilliant. There we go. There we go. That's actually... That's, that's fine. Yeah, okay, cool. And then the final thing that I would like to do is grab... All of the bits at the front, like these ones, send these down, and yeah, it actually goes down with it. So grab this one, uh, this one, ah, I can't seem to grab all of them, but I'm going to try. That one, that one, this one, this one, and this one. Send them all down at the same time. Oh, I, I, I didn't expect it to be like this. Hang on. What's going on here? What's going on? I need to split it. Oh, actually, no, I just grabbed these, these four. Da, 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 da. There we go. And we just send these back. As well as these guys. So this one needs to go backwards as well. There we go. We're going to have it like that. That's cool. That's actually very cool. So on the front of this, we'll obviously have the two massive cannons. I don't know how big they're supposed to be. But we're just going to go with whatever feels right. And yeah. So here we go. These are going to have to be ginormous. There we go. We're going to merge them somewhat like they're one. There we go. And I guess we're going to roll with this. This seems a bit crazy, but there you go. Bring this back. Excellent. Uh, we've got 75mm guns on there so far. I think what we're going to need to do is extend it fully. So, 
We're going to have the biggest guns ever. They're going to be huge. There you go. Keep it going. Extend this one all the way up to there. Extend this one a bit further. Extend it once more. There you go. A six meter barrel. I think that works. All right, cool. We're going to make it a huge caliber, which is what we should do, to be fair. And that seems fine. Penetration's really low, but that's okay. Yeah. No, this is okay. All right, good. Don't know whether the end of the gun has anything on it. Um, we are going to put nothing on it, I guess. Or should we go with one of these just to make it interesting? Yeah. So we're going to leave it like that. We're then going to go ahead and save this as ratata gun. Ratata -ta -ta gun. Save that as that. There we go. Go to this side. Load it up. And there we go. We're going to go with that. Yeah. I mean, that works. So why not use it? Yeah, sure. I like that. Uh, we are gonna need a, gonna need an exhaust and stuff on this as well, uh, and I think I want two more turrets on the back as well because I think that'd be pretty cool. So yeah. Anyway, gun sights we do need them. We're gonna put them off to the sides uh, by quite a distance. That's fine. Uh, mantlets we've already used those. Gun brakes we've already used those as well. Okay. Uh, the amount of ammo is gonna go in the turret, and we're gonna have like sixty. Actually, we probably can't fit that much. There's literally so much room. We're at 143, no, 145 tons with no armor. It literally has no armor right now. That's pretty crazy. In fact, that's very crazy. I don't know what I'm going to do about this. All right. I don't know if the suspension will be able to hold it or anything, but I'm sure it's fine. All right, so crew, we need a gunner loader and a gunner loader for both guns. There we go. That is fine. They're both done. Um... That's okay. We probably need a radio operator as well. And that's fine. In fact, actually, we'll add another two people. We'll just have two gunners and then two loaders. Yeah, we'll do it that way around because I think that's probably fine. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Okay, go to base. We're going to make the basket massive. Okay. The basket can't actually be any bigger than what it is for some reason. Maybe if I make the diameter bigger? Then the basket can be bigger? No? I can't make it any bigger than 5 meters squ uh, cubed. 5 meters cubed. Interesting. Alright, well, I mean, to me, this looks okay. So we're going to leave it somewhat like this, I think. That's fine. That's fine. Alright, good. Um, da -da 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 -da. What else do we need? What else do we really, really need? Well, we need armor all the way around it, but we're not going to do that yet. Suspension? I really don't know how this is going to work. Uh, length? Massive. Um, diameter? Huge. Dampener, massive. Okay, can it even hold it? Not really. I mean, look at it. It's bouncing. That's crazy. Okay, but we're going to leave it as it is for right now because I think that's okay. Right, go to crew. Go to viewports. We're going to have a gunner. No, a driver is going to go down in here on both sides. There we go. We're going to have a gun poking out up here. In fact, two guns. There we go. Excellent. Um, and that'll be fine. Utilities. I mean, we could go for a million utilities. Doesn't really matter, I don't think. Uh, we are going to go with these everywhere as well. Uh, we will need lots of them. So there you go. Those. Bring them to the back. We'll have some here as well. And we'll have some all the way at the rear. There we go. However, there is going to be more turrets. So maybe that's okay. All right, good. So far, so good. This is brilliant. This is actually brilliant. Okay, so lights. We'll do those now. There we go. We'll actually just have them up there. The rear lights, I don't know why it would need them. Everybody can see it anyway. There you go. Put that there. Uh, da -da -da -da. Stowages, we're not going to worry about that today. Uh, antenna, we will need one. So we'll actually put those close to the middle. Good. And a commander's coupler. I don't think this would have one, but we'll put two on the top. There we go. Two on the top at the rear. That looks okay. We'll leave it like that. Good. Guys, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. All right, okay. Last thing. Uh, maybe not even last thing. I should. I shouldn't say last thing. We're gonna. Oh, I was gonna say if I can't just change that back, that's gonna be annoying. All right, go to hull. We need a new one. We're gonna actually be having two of these. So put that right there. Uh, it's gonna be a lot smaller than the the big one on the top. So lower this down. Okay. We're gonna have it be like a similar shape though. Extend the sides. Yes. I'll go to points. Grab that one and that one. There we go. Bring this this way. And, uh, yeah, that's probably fine. We're going to do the same right here on this side. Da -da 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 -da. Extend. Oh, that's annoying, actually. Hang on. 
There we go. Extend this piece as well. Yep. Alright, so we're going to go to edges. I'm going to grab this piece. We're also going to grab this piece. We're going to send these backwards. Oh, that didn't work. What the? No, that didn't work at all. Send these backwards. There we go. Excellent. It'll do the other side as well, which it already has. And that's pretty cool. We're then going to go to the front. We're going to extend that bit as well. It's also extended the rear, which is weird. But there you go. So grab this bit and this bit. There we go. Grab this bit and this bit. There we go. Go to faces. Extend this this way. And honestly, that's that's probably it. We're going to go with that. It's weird shaped. This is even weirder shaped than the one on the top. So it's pretty odd. But anyway, grab that. Ah! This is annoying. Grab that piece. There you go. Extend it upwards. Bring it in. Okay. Right. Grab this. 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 Oh, I hate when it does this. And the others as well. This piece. Uh, ah! And this bit. No. Stop it. Right. There we go. Uh, we're going to actually put a snap on for these. And we're going to do this. One. Two. There we go. We're then going to do all of the others. There we go. One there, one there, one there, one there. And finally this one. So annoying when that happens. One, two. There we go. We're going to have these as our little turrets on the back. And we're just going to have a little gun on these. I think that'll be fine. So mount. Yes. We are going to go with the same mount. We're going to go with one of these. Make it just as big as the gun. We're going to put it right there. Okay, excellent. It has put it on both sides, which is very odd. In fact, that's really, really strange. But there you go. Put this here instead. Good. I'll have that right there. Uh, and then we need to copy it. We need to copy this. So turret. Rear. Rat. Rat. Okay, there we go. So save. Good. I should have done the armor on it first, but whatever, it's fine. So now. Now we go to the base. We grab another one of these. We load up the rat rear. There we go. We turn it around, if that's possible. I don't know how it... There, okay, right, excellent. And we try and put it in the same location as the one next to it. So there we go. Okay, I don't know if that's anywhere near the right place. But it has to be. It's, it's, it has to be. It has to come further out than that. There we go. We're going to go like that. Okay, so we got the guns on the back. We've got the main gun on the top. Uh, and that's all we need. Guys, we've got it. I'm not going to change the guns at all either on these. I think that's probably fine. We'll increase the size of it to five. Since we've got so much room in the actual main bit, then we might as well. Uh, same with these. We'll do that. Same with this one. That's already armor thickness all the way up. All the way up. Uh, ratio. There we go. We're going to go with that. Excellent. And these ones can turn slowly. That's probably fine. Okie dokie. Excellent. Guys, we're doing it. We're doing it. Okay. So, now we're going to go to mobility. We are going to go to engine. This thing is probably going to have to be really heavy. 16 cylinders. 5 liters each. Uh, okay. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> 2. Uh, da -da -da -da, 700. Okie dokie. And then... I don't know. How, should we go for, like, something higher than what we normally would? Uh, 1450. We'll do that. There we go, 1450. 1450. Okay, so per ton, 7.6 horsepower. That should be able to move it, which is excellent. 600 liters of fuel, that's completely fine. We will keep it on this one. We'll have more gears. 14 gears, and yep. We'll increase this to 4. There we go. We'll increase this to 6. There we go, excellent. Uh, and that's probably fine. Right, the engine, we need to actually put some coolant on here now. So, we're going to put this in the middle, uh, like so. We'll actually have a line of these that go all the way to the rear of the turret. There we go. Excellent. We're then going to have pretty much a few of these as well. There, because we really need the engine to be cooled, because it is not going to be cooled very much. Okay, go back to crew. Go to crew hatches. We need one of these. Huge on the back of there. There we go, to allow the actual ammunition to come out. Or the shells, I should say, out the back. And also for it to be reloaded. We're then going to put two of these on the rear. So we can get in and out. And we're going to put a crew hatch underneath. 
There we go. Somewhere like this, so you can actually climb up into it. Very good. Guys, we've built a thing. It looks a bit crazy, but it should work. 62 seconds to reload. For the two main cannons. Oh, we need more crew members. We're going to add an extra two. This is going to be a gunner loader. And this is going to be a gunner loader. Okay, excellent. Um, yeah. So that's number one. That's number one. Excellent. This is number two. This should be number two. Spawn it in. We need gunner's sights. Oh, wow. Okay, gunner's sights. Here we go. Put them directly on top of there. Excellent. There should be one on this side as well, but I don't think there is. Hang on. Going to sight. Da, 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 da. Excellent. There we go. Now it should work. Do they all need to be put on forwards? I think they need to face forwards uh, when they're on here. So we'll have to grab it. And we'll have to actually turn it around. So that it's facing the front. I have to do the same thing with this one. And then when we aim... Okay, I don't quite understand what the rear two turrets are doing, but they are they are a thing. I'm not going to let them shoot because it's probably an issue, but uh, we've built it, guys. We've built something like it anyway. All right, good. So last thing that I want to do um, in this video is I want to put a bit of a livery on it. I kind of want to go with something crazy, but at the same time, I really don't. I don't know. Realistically, it should just be gray. So maybe we'll just make it gray. Gray? Yeah. We'll go with that. There you go. And uh, I guess we'll put a symbol on the side to, to symbolize where it's from. So we'll put this on. And we'll make it huge. There we go. Alright, guys. I think this is probably good enough. But I'm not entirely sure what else we need to do with it. Uh, but yeah. I think that's really cool. I think that's really, really cool. Um, yeah. Yeah. We've even got the guns on the back and everything. Uh, I'll actually put these here. And we'll have one in the middle as well. They're everywhere. So there you go. We've done it, guys. We've actually built the thing. Uh, I do want to fire off the guns. So, yeah. I don't know whether we need more than one loader per gun on the on the top. Uh, but I don't know whether it changes, if that makes sense. So if we go to crew, say that's got one loader. And let's say we add another one. Add another person. Let's make them also a loader. And let's make them do whatever the top one's doing. So the rat, rat gun. Let's see if that works. Okay, so it... It doesn't really work. So we're going to get rid of that person. There we go. And we'll leave it as is. I think that's fine. Nice. Nice. All right, cool. The guns on the back have a mind of their own. I don't know what they're doing. So that's pretty strange. But honestly, guys, we've built it. I think it looks cool. I think it will work. We've got 50 seconds until we can actually shoot. And then once we can shoot, we will, and we'll see what happens. Yeah, it goes over trenches easily. Excellent. Same size as the trees. Amazing. Realistically, I think this should be bigger, but I'm not I'm not sure. We've got 30 seconds until we can actually shoot. Remember as well, this thing doesn't have any armor cur currently. So with armor, it wouldn't be this fast. Um, and with armor, obviously, uh, it'd be very slow, and it wouldn't move very much. And also, these guns on the back will shoot each other, and that's not good. Yeah. Anyway, what should we fight? What should we actually fight? Um, I want it to be one of the main ones in the game already, so let's go to, like, Panther. There we go. Let's fight the Panther. Let's see what this does. Ready? Three, two, one. I don't know where that went. <laughs> I'm going to die now, though, because I'm only four. Oh, I'm only ten mil of armor. So we, we're going to die straight away, but that's fine. Right, can I knock these trees over? I can't even kill trees. What the? That's not right. Also, the panther hasn't shot me yet. Anyway, uh, for now, I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see if we can actually put the armor on this next time and maybe put this up against some enemies. Uh, I think that would be really cool. But anyway, for now, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.